In this video, I'll be showing you what I call buy pupping. That is short for buy pickupping, where I'm taking the name from buy amping in loudspeakers, where you use separate amplification circuits and drivers for the low and the high frequency ranges. So, effectively, I'll be using the sound of the magnetic pickups to be sent to the woofers and the um, piezo bridge saddles to be sent to the tweeters. It's a little bit of an oversimplification, but close enough. So this video does feature a guitar, um, but you can use it with the bass also. Other sorts of instruments too, I'm sure, but those are the kinds that I have. So why am I doing this? Well, aside from their high noise floor relative to the piezos, I love the way magnetic pickups sound, but I don't like that none of them can pick up all the high frequencies that a guitar produces. So piezos can be used as the pickup equivalent of a tweeter to extend the electrical frequency response of your instrument. So the piezos can sound good by themselves, but they have a different character as I'll demonstrate to you. So uh, I won't actually be, I'll be playing this riff It'll look like I'm playing it three times, so you have something to watch, but I actually only played it one time and recorded uh, separate tracks for the piezo and the magnetic pickup, which I'll go over again later. So first you'll hear the magnetics only. These are some of the brightest pickups out there, so, so as to minimize the differences between the piezo frequency response and the magnetics. Then we'll hear the bi version. The piezo is going to be high-pass filtered around the cutoff frequency of the pickups, and then you're going to hear the piezo only. So hopefully that gives you an idea of what those different types of pickuping methods sound like. Um, in order to make recordings or play with uh, such a setup, you're going to need separate outputs so that you can do separate processing to each signal. Now specifically in this video, the only processing I did was low pass filtering on the piezos um, in the second playthrough. Everything else was uh, straight to the board. So I, I, on my instruments, use just a single stereo jack. Looks the same as a mono jack uh, from the outside. And then I'll plug in a cable, stereo cable. Looks like a mono cable, except for, you know, if people are familiar with stereo cables, you see two little rings there instead of one uh, for a tip ring sleeve. And so then... This particular cable I use just uh, has two cables like glued together all the way across until the end. And then we have a uh, split into, it's not really left and right, but they are, uh, you have red here marked with red for right, blue or white for left. Uh, it doesn't matter which one you put where. I do put my piezos on the red part and the magnetics on the left. That allows me to play the video game Rocksmith with my friends, uh, with, and I'm able to use the Rocksmith cable <laughs> uh, without having to do any extra wiring. So that's the main reason I do that, wire it that way. All right, so uh, my piezos are run passive. I don't have any sort of preamp whatsoever. Um, but I am using active magnetic pickups. If you have any active electronics, be that pickups or otherwise or both, um, you'll want a way to break the circuit when you're not playing to avoid unnecessarily draining the batteries. Most stereo jacks won't provide you with that capability uh, unless you're using a, a mono signal, which I never am. So I'll link to the nine lug jack that I use in my guitar in the description. Now that jack will not fit in my bass. My bass does not have a jack plate and has a different type of shaft. But what's cool about this uh, Carvin XB76 is that it came with a jack that actually allows me to uh, run a stereo signal and uh, make a connection that I need for the battery when a cable is inserted. So I didn't know that was going to happen. It's pretty cool. I don't know where else to get one of those. 
So hopefully this information enlightens some of you. I've never seen a piezo-equipped instrument being marketed with bipupping in mind, and I haven't heard of other people doing this, but until somebody learns how to make a magnetic pickup that doesn't roll off audible high-end, this is the solution that I plan to use.